Hello, welcome to day seven of the Sustainable Living Bike Tour. We woke up this morning at um, Camp Ocean Pines in beautiful Cambria, and the camp um, manager had um, very graciously donated the camp to us, or lodging and food at the camp to us last night. And we woke up, we had an amazing breakfast around a fireplace, and then we saw their red-tailed hawk, a rescued red-tailed hawk, as well as a great horned owl and learned a little bit about those birds before we set off on our journey down south to San Luis Obispo. It was a pretty easy day because we only had to travel about 25 miles along the coast. So we set off for about um, 13 miles down to the quaint coastal town of Cayucas. And we <laughs> had coffee and it was kind of like in a way a layover day for the crew because we're all pretty tired. We went to bed at 8 o'clock last night, if you can believe it. My cabin did. And um, so after coffee we set out to um, the Morro Bay Estuary, which is also um, a all-weather safe, um, all-weather port. It's like one of just a, just a couple in the whole Southern California region. Um, so we stopped at this estuary, which is a very um, important place, ecologically speaking. Um, it is where fresh water and salt water is combined, so there's a number of organisms that can only um, inhabit there. Um, members of our crew saw white pelicans as well as uh, sea otters, and it is notorious for um, seals and sometimes even great white sharks entering the estuary. Um, sometimes estuaries are endangered um, by nearby dams and levees, as was the Morro Bay estuary. But they are taking steps to restore it and prevent further decline by removing the levee and allowing water to, um, to distribute sediment down along the floodplains around the estuary so it doesn't dump sediment into the estuary itself. This has been um, remarkably successful. After that, um, checking out the estuary, we ate lunch and headed um, further south to El Choro State Park to camp where we are right here in my tent. Um, we are preparing dinner and snacking on a few of these fenugreek sprouts, which David Klingenberger, our resident farmer, has been sprouting. We also have some alfalfa sprouts. David is keeping us all smelling like maple syrup. When you eat the fenugreek, um, you exude a maple-like flavor from your body. Bye! My opinion about this bike trip is I think it's phenomenal that they get to bike through the whole countryside of California and see all the cool parks and countryside, but more importantly, they're teaching a very good message to a lot of kids at the schools about uh, how to limit your ecological footprint. And I think it's an awesome thing they're doing. Um, and it's got to be really fun. So hopefully one day, maybe, I'll be able to do it. We'll see. But yeah, I think it it's phenomenal. Everybody should do it in their lifetime.